Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to the Sonic 3 & Knuckles 20th Anniversary Special. Uh, I'm Mike89, and I'll be running you through the game today. Um, everything I'm going to be doing in this game today is going to be possible on a completely fresh file. So I'm going to delete one of these the completed ones we've got here. Um, well, everything except the bits at the end, but I'll explain those later. Um, okay, so kicking things off. Um, even before we actually start timing of the game, there's going to be some real shenanigans going on. So I've got two controllers plugged in, so I'm, you're going to see me controlling Tails at some points, and this is one of them. So right now I'm mashing the buttons, and that makes Tails fall faster, and that gives you just enough time to actually pick Sonic up and uh, go through little bits of the stage. You can actually have Sonic killed there, which is um, possibly not even the most amusing thing that can happen there. Um, one of the things I am going to be doing is getting all the emeralds, and uh, this stage is a little bit too easy for me, so we're going to up the difficulty a bit. So if you're wondering, yes, I am going to be getting every... Every blue sphere and every ring, all while moving backwards. So you'll see me move out to the edges like that. Slightly slower, but when I can't see where the edge of the um, box is, just helps. So, that wasn't too bad. Um, okay, so the counters on the right hand side. I'm going to be getting all of the large, ring, large rings, which is 77, and the first one of those isn't it working? No, seriously, what's going on here? Oh! Okay, two was up. <laughs> I was just pressing the wrong button, that's all. Okay, um... Yeah, so I'm going to be getting all of those, which is 77. Uh, I'm going to be getting almost all the extra lives. There's actually 54, but there's three of them I can't get, and I'll explain those a bit later. Um, so the first extra life's up here. Um, instead of going straight through the like through the tree thing, you, know, you just go like this, and there's your extra life. And so that's the first one of those. Um, I'm also going to be getting all of the robotic boxes, of which there's only seven in the whole game, and two of them are in pairs. Uh, sorry, four of them are in pairs. Two lots of two. Um, okay, so the most interesting thing about this act is that. Um, that there was actually uh, the end of Act 1, and that doesn't make a lot of sense right now, because right now I'm still in Act 1, but um, I'm going to explain that a bit later. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is, Sonic's boss is a bit too easy, so we're going to try and do Knuckles' boss instead. Just kidding. Uh, the game tries really hard to keep Sonic out of Knuckles' boss area, and it will kill you. Um, So there's our next special stage. Uh, one thing you'll notice there is... So remember how I said we're actually out of Act 1 right now? So that area I was in actually counts as part of Act 2. And so, what, so what's going on there is... Uh, yeah, it actually, it actually thinks we're in Act 2. Um, the game is a little bit clever about it because normally when it's in Act 2, uh, it'll start playing the Act 2 music. Um, there, when I reload from the checkpoint, um, what happened was the Act 1 music was playing. And that's actually something that's fixed from Sonic 3. In Sonic 3, the Act 2 music will play there. Um, so they fixed that case, but not this one. When I come back from the special stage, listen very carefully to what music is playing. Oh, 
other than that, uh, this stage itself is pretty straightforward. I'm only, I'm only confident enough with the first one to do it, um... Yeah, I'm only confident enough with the first one to do it, um, with the backwards restriction. And even then, it was only because a friend of mine put me up to it once upon a time. Shout out Star PG if he's watching this. Uh, so this is something you'll get used to. Um, I'm going to get perfect in every stage. There's 14 of them. Uh, they each give you an extra life because of 50,000 points and it continue. But yeah, so now this is the Angel Island Deck 2 music. Um, not a lot else to see here. Um, there's a little bit of the stage that's on but not really much to write home about.
and that's that's the um, that's the start point if you use level select, for example. Uh, okay. So now we're gonna go about grabbing some extra lives. The first one is up here. Last one of those, not too hard. This one's even easier. Yeah, uh, this stage has four in all. Top and there's one down the bottom. I'm actually going to go and get the one on top first. It's a nice little effect of um, the water shield there. You get much more of a bounce when you when you bounce off an enemy like that. Okay, so this is where you get introduced to the idea that um, the shape that you enclose with a with a ring of red spheres like that doesn't necessarily have to be a square or even a rectangle. I'm going to skip those and come back to them later because, again, otherwise you'll um, you'll just go through the last the last of them will all turn into rings and you won't be able to pick. Might be able to pick him up. So you need to have a couple lying around at the end. And so here we're going to go around all of this. So this is very not a square or any you know regular shape. So we have one more life to get, and that'll do us for this stage. Uh, there is one thing I want to show off during the, um, the, what would you call it, the bomber section, um, because there's really not a lot to do there. Um, it's about 40, 40 seconds where you're not in any control over how fast you're going. Um, it actually t it actually works out uh, in the new in the newest tool system run. Angel Island 2 is the second longest level in the game, solely because of that. Uh, you can get up here. Uh, Sometimes he'll get stuck over the side like this, and he just, he has no speed, he can't catch up to me. So I can't do the thing I really wanted to do here, which is kind of unfortunate. Can't do any of the number of things I really wanted to do here. There's, there's some real shenanigans that can happen here. Yeah. Um, sometimes you'll actually skip the Knuckles cutscene that happens here. One time, I actually made the boss respawn. This was actually quite recent; it only happened. Uh, oh, whoops! It only happened a week or two ago. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't recording when it happened. <laughs> uh, I know, always record, right? But I just forgot. Uh, one thing I can show you here is you've actually got a little bit of control before that bridge disappears. Um, not a lot else we can do here, uh, you can just, actually no you can't because uh, the game 
doesn't give player two control back to Tails here. Um, but the kind of plane that extends the plane that um, triggers access to hydrosity actually extends all the way here. So you can go off the edge of the left there and you're fine. Uh, okay, so not really lots to show off in this stage. Um, aside from spin dashing on spikes, which I always think is pretty cool. So I made the um, the large ring spawn, and when you kill him, yeah, looks a bit strange. Anyway, uh, we're gonna take this large ring now. This is a really simple stage, but you have to do it in this order. Or specifically, you have to get the four rings last. I don't actually know what the quickest way to do this stage is. Particularly with all the rings, that's always an, an extra factor that's difficult to account for. That's all the rings, and there's only four to go. Now, in theory, you can go around and get all of these, you know, just by just by turning and then doing two more jumps. But the jump is actually, like, it's like slightly longer than two um, tiles, or actually it might be exactly two tiles, but in order to do it perfectly, you would then have to, each re-jump would have to be like on the very frame you hit the ground. So, that's the kind of thing that's not really realistic and will just get you into trouble if you try it. Um, so again, actually I'm going to have some of this here so we can see if this is working. I am going to go down there later, but not yet. Uh, going to go up here first. Okay, so that's, a, so that's a big issue with slopes in this game in general. Um, slopes are really finicky sometimes, and there are particular ones that do it more than others. Th that is a particular one that does it a lot. Um, so to get that second game is actually not that bad. Jump over them. Right. 
and now you just go where the remaining blues are, which will be opposite turns every time, so this one will be a left. Alright, six down. I have seven lives, I've got one more to get, and it's actually going to be a pretty tricky one, because I don't have a water shield. So you might wonder why I'm doing this now, because this is right near the end of the stage, and there is one more life to get. The problem is, once you go that way, you're committed to the path on that ends at the top, and I'll show you what that means later, but basically... Kid. I know I didn't. 
life. Uh, so this stage, I think, has four. And you can see how fast it gets once you start once you start roaming around like that, a little bit lost. Okay, so not only does that now let you become supersonic, that actually makes a really cool change to the large rings. That's, um, that will go over when we get to the next one. Whereas in something like Sonic 1, they just stop appearing, or in Knuckles Chaotix, which is probably the next most interesting one, they give you, um, wireframe stages and um, let you have extra lives if you do them well. Um, uh, yeah, hands up, who knew about that invincibility? No, I didn't. Also, like the fact that you don't even need tails to get it. That clever bounce off the... Uh, off that will do the trick for you. Um, okay, so yeah, probably thinking... Oh cool, I get another invincibility. Nope. That's the first one of those for the game. And as I mentioned, only seven of them total. So essentially the reason I picked... Um... Oh. oh, okay. That works. So essentially the reason I picked extra lives and Robotnik boxes as the things I wanted to show off is because it shows off the most of the game. Sonic doesn't actually get his Super Sonic doesn't get his double sized jump off these things. So yeah, as you can see there actually gave me an extra 50 rings. <laughs> Look! I'm stuck! There's no box! Oh. Now the switch is there. Screen sets itself nicely. And 
what we're going to do here is we're going to let Robot Nick carry us up in the whirlpool and nothing really happens. But, except for the fact that you can stand on top of it, which is something that was not anyway. Okay, so, next stage. The most interesting thing about Marble Garden 1 is it actually has, well, when you have all the emeralds at least, uh, it has over a thousand rings in it. Uh, now, a thousand rings is a hell of a lot. Um, you might expect that it's not really expected in normal play that you'll ever get to a thousand, and you'd be right. Uh, the game actually can't display over a thousand, so it doesn't even try. Um, you might be wondering why I haven't got all the rings available to me now. Uh, essentially, this is the reason why I'm going to try and show off something silly here, um, which is not working right now, but these, these things have the most amazing hitboxes, and that one actually looked like it, that one actually looked like it was a fair kill, but it shouldn't have been there. <laughs> attempted to show that off, um, that is essentially why you won't see me, you won't see me doing any spin dashes under those, um, I'm going to be really, really careful around them. Oh! Okay, first one. So this stage has eight large rings in all. Um, Essentially, yeah, that's a hell of a lot. Alright, uh, here's number two. You have to be really careful not to hit this fire shield or to get hit. Okay, that's one of each.
first time I'm gonna use a screen wrap to go past something. Now essentially what's going on in a screen wrap is the game is like, um, yeah, so you're at the bottom of the screen, right? And it's because of the way that the game handles, handles the, the, I know what I'm trying to say, I'll get it out in a second. I don't want that water shield. Come slowly through that. And you'll notice that I wasn't able to pick this ring up. Now, for some reason, <laughs> Tails was able to. Um, it's got to do with the fact that, for some reason, the lightning shield doesn't work at the very edge of the map. And in this stage, it's not really obvious where the very edge of the map is because of the way it's built. There is a very edge of the map, and it does exist, but, um, the game doesn't use, doesn't use that when it's figuring out where you are. It actually just uses the camera when it figures out where you are. And the top of the camera has X position, uh, sorry, Y position zero. Um, so when you go, when you get to a number lower than Y position zero, well, that's Y position minus one. And the way that, uh, the game handles numbers like minus one in memory is to make them um, very large positive numbers instead. And that's an extra life. I need one more. Where is it? It's okay, it's fine. Uh, I am going to just dash there. That is like technically that's a risk, but only a small one. Never seen it kill me there. If it did, I'd be very sad. <laughs> For example, there's like 12 over here. That there 
requires 1,004 rings, but it can't count them. And even if I were to go and complete the stage, um, actually I think I'm going to have to now. Yeah, I don't think I can do the other thing. Which is kind of sad. Oh. So yeah, the boss is lower than what it should be, quote-unquote, which would be 100,400. actually. Yeah, so those, um, those orange and white blocks, that's what they're for, then they'll be broken by that. Um, whoa! That was way, way too Switching with 
between shields finally ends here, but there's a lightning shield there too, in case you just can't make up your mind which one you want. Um, now unlike in Sonic 3, those those jets there actually count as fire damage, so the fire shield will actually cause damage, this will be interesting. Um, okay, so there is a ceiling there, I was wondering what happened. That's how you hit that boss with tails, by the way. Because a lot of people seem to struggle with that. I've got the terrible feeling I missed a life. Uh, this stage actually has quite a lot that I need to keep track of, too. Um, So we're gonna go down the bottom first. Uh, firstly to get that. Secondly to get this. Thirdly to show off. Uh, yeah. So this isn't how the pinwheels are meant to work. I'll show you how the pinwheels are meant to work later. But this one is broken for some reason. It doesn't do its job properly. And instead of just staying on it forever, we'll eventually fling you off in whatever direction it likes. Um, okay, this is where things get a bit fun. Um, so, if Tails picks Sonic up and drops him into the cannon, silly thing. So you can still hear it, and I could, and I can actually get shot from that cannon whenever I want. Um, okay, another thing, if you spin that, you will just drop down like this, um, as soon as you hit the bottom. Yeah, as you can see, not really walking on anything right now. Um, yeah, this is called slow glitch, and you'll see a fair bit of that. No way to dodge that water shield. Um, and then the only way out of here without ending the stage is back through here. Um, so what we're gonna do now. The Tails is gonna fly us up to here. The Sonic is going to. Ah, uh, it didn't work. It's okay, you can get around like that. Um, now we're gonna be really careful not to fall. Especially there. Um, you can get back from here, it just takes a while. Okay. So I've got two more to get in this stage. This stage has six in all, and one of them is only meant to be accessible in Knuckles. This is where you start seeing stuff like this. You've got to be a little bit creative. Thankfully, the game offers you many opportunities to be as creative as you need to be. Okay, so there's another one. 
So this is another one of those instances where we're going to make something look up and objects below him are going to disappear. Well, in this case, they won't just disappear. They won't disappear, they'll just open. Um, I take that off, it should be 24. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to get back down here and you might recognize this as the scene of a particular glitch. So we're going to go and we're going to do that glitch. Okay, so this is what the um, this is what the pinwheels are meant to do. Uh, it doesn't look like it's what they're meant to do, but it is. So essentially, what uh, what is going on there is the, um, the game's like okay, so to make you stay on the pinwheel, it's going okay. So we're gonna ramp up your gravity to like. 10 times what it normally is. That's the extra life, by the way. And on top of doing that, they're also going to uh, make it so it can be applied in any direction. So, if you fall off a normal ledge, you'll get a straight fall like that, but um, you can also fall to the, to the left and things like that, which is what you saw um, the second time. Um, so that's it. So that was kind of like what I was saying with the screen wrap earlier, is that um, objects don't exist when they're off screen, and you can use that to your advantage in all sorts of different ways. Okay. Oh no, that's bad. Uh, okay. Um, there's the large ring, which is the relief, because I didn't actually hit the other chick. See, I've already got 41 lives. So, if you ever thought this game was difficult, um, it's really not. So, this you've probably seen me do before. Manipulate the way the um, the boss throws its spinning top. This you may not have seen before. That actually causes a death. <laughs> Thankfully that's very easy to repeat, um, if not in the optimal way, in a way that's close enough. That way is actually slightly faster than what I did the first time, so no complaints there at all. And this time I'm not going to push myself. Um, all right. So that's Act 1 taken care of. Act 2 has the most extra lives in the game, with a grand total of 6. Uh, I think the best way to do it is to get the first one down. So, yeah. That's number 1. And yeah, um, the funny thing about those spikes is that retracted set of spikes there can actually still hit you, even if they're down. Uh, the other one can't. I don't think there's any other set of spikes in the game that can do that, actually. It's, it's actually quite unique. Um, Alright, so I'm going to be really careful about dropping here. Alright, so one of them. This stage has five of the large rings total. Really, 
didn't want tails in the way there. Um, in general, having tails in the way is a bad thing. And it's to be avoided at all costs. But you knew that already if you played this before. Oh. Not sure I really wanted that, but okay. uh, large ring. Uh, extra life down there. ways to skip this cutscene and the whole water level change thing. Um, none of them are easy though. And one of them that I do in the speedrun requires a setup from Act 1. I'm not really willing to, to do that because I have certain other goals for this run. try not to go supersonic too much just because of the music factor. Like, I don't want to be hearing this all the time. I know you guys don't either. Um, oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Okay, so turning supersonic might not be the worst thing here. Um, because this, uh, this stage has something very unusual, which is two lives right next to each other. Um, you can get them without Super Psych, but it's very difficult. Okay, I also really don't want to be Super Psych at the end of the stage, and I'll explain why in a little bit. So, I'm going to hit this checkpoint here, and at that stage again, that's unfortunate. As you can see, Water Shield. Um, yeah, in Sonic 3, that's broken. Sometimes the game makes it really hard to escape. Uh, something you might have also noticed in that earlier section is there there are certain types of um, balloon. Uh, there's yeah, there are certain blue colored balloons that actually oh, and that's the last life. Yeah, there are certain blue balloons there that actually. Uh, they are actually linked to Sonic's sprite color. Um, oh, that was interesting. And I lost the water shield. Didn't really want that. Oh, he killed both of the enemies. What a dickhead. Um, are there any more enemies? Not actually sure. No, they're not really nice one. Uh, in they don't. So I'm not sure I can do what I want to do here. <laughs> Something you'll no have noticed about all of that as well is that um, Tails didn't actually hit any of those. Tails missed them all, but still got the bounce because the game really likes him, I guess. Much more than I do in any case. Um, Alright, well, what are we gonna do? I'm trying to think, there has to be a way to do this.
tries to send you down here into Google's area. But, in order to get the large ring here, you have to jump up through that one and then go through here. Very well hidden. Okay, so now this is Knuckles' exit. Normally there would be a capsule there and you'd be able to jump on that and go up to Ice Cap. Doesn't work that way. Um, here, okay, so here's the capsule where switch where Knuckles is. Uh, now if I run through this facing left, um, the the whole run will be over because I it won't actually start the cutscene. So what I have to do is jump here and then turn around so I'm facing right as I go through the trigger, like that. And then the cutscene plays as normal. And that's Carnival Night. You can see Tails is stuck against something and that's caused that to happen again. Uh, you, you'll also notice that in four zones I already have half the lives that all over in the game. Um, should we do... Nah, we'll do this. Okay. Uh, this you might remember from the co-op run at HDQ a couple of years back. It's pretty much the most amusing thing. And that gets us the ice cap. Uh, now, so, ice cap. There's actually 50 rings on this slope. Which is not obvious the first time you play the game. But if you jump right on 10 seconds, you'll get those 10 there. And then 50, you can transform to Super Sonic. You can see how strong the slope is. Now, now the game's actually stopped me there. I can't do anything but jump. But if Tails lifts me out of here, um, now I'm completely screwed. No? Oh, well, how boring. Hmm, okay. All right. Well, guess we'll do this special stage now. Um, so this is reminiscent of the. the Sonic 1 special stages, at least in how it plays. Um, I would have liked to have more rings in it, just to show off something really silly about the stage. So essentially, the second I hit 50 rings and pick up one of those ones on the outside, I'll, I'll get a continue because the game will think I had 50 rings in the stage, or think I collected 50 rings in the stage. So, I don't know if you heard it, but uh, that was the continue sound going off. Um, really like to just exit the stage now. So there's not really much else to do in there. Um, I skip for our objective, oh, I skip one, at least for our objectives here, is really light on. It has only two of these, and no extra lives at all. So really, from here to the end of the stage, we're not doing too much. Uh, I can't even do this, because I'll turn Super Sonic, but you can do an Insta Shield standing there and you'll pick up the Lightning Shield. Uh, that, that block has done some really interesting things to me before. One time when pushing it from that side, it actually started moving the other way. And if you do that and hold it for long enough, it will actually crush you. We'll highlight that somewhere. Uh, okay, so... Here, we're gonna do another one of those screen wraps that I was talking about. Um, oh! Why wouldn't it let me go through? Okay, there we go. Alright, and we're gonna go and fight Knuckles' boss. Now, Knuckles' boss isn't really a distinguishing 
in this nice bright blue cave after you beat it. Uh, that's only with Sonic because the game expects you to be up the top with Sonic and is, yeah, it expects you to be up there. And it does that effect where it lightens the background a little bit. Doesn't particularly care that that's not actually where you meant to be. Um, so, jumping into the abyss, worth it for that. I'm gonna try not to use Super Sonic here if I can, just to prove that you don't need to. Oh, oh here I've got something fun to show off. Uh, so, yeah, this, this block here. pick up another one.
Um, okay. Just gonna do some quick maths here. 1, 4, 3, 4 is 12, 15, 17, 20, 26. Again, if you thought this game was too difficult and you need some more lives. So this is something you can do that gets a bunch more lives. So all you gotta do is sit here where I am right now. And Tails is triggering the alarm. And every few seconds an enemy will come along. And because I'm doing because I'm on the same stretch of ground, um, it continues the chain. So as you can see, I'm getting Points. Now I'm getting 10,000 points a kill. So every five of these that comes past, I'll get another life. So it's not really worth showing that off anymore. That was just demonstration purposes. Um, there is a large ring down there right at the start, but um, I'll we'll leave it behind. We'll see why in a second. Okay, so this is pretty cool. So when that capsule thing there is it moves a little bit up and down. When it's at its lowest point, if you spin dash into it and enter like that, uh, you'll actually you'll clip straight out of it when you get to the other side. So as you can see there, attracting spikes um, didn't cause a hit. I think it's only the ones in California that do that. I can't think of any others right now. Sometimes what will happen there is you'll, um, is you'll go through that, and um, Sonic will actually appear in the foreground. That won't quite work. It doesn't always work. It's a little bit finicky. Not the easiest thing to hit. Um, okay, I really need to not hit this checkpoint. Uh, doesn't matter if Tails goes through because he can't hit it. Right, so, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to look up, and you can see where well, you can set the box anywhere, and Tails is going to go in here, and do something that Sonic's been trying to do for a long time. And that is actually finish off everybody for good. Now, it'll take a little while. What's going on here is... Uh, there are things like this, and there are certain um, 
kind of fake boss encounters, like the, the first appearance of the boss in Angel Island 1. A um, couple of things like that, where they'll appear and they'll, um, instead of being, well they are considered bosses, but their um, hit value is set to 255, so you can't kill them. Unless you stop it from going away like you do with this. So, after each hit you have an invulnerability of half a second. 255 times half a second is a little over 2 minutes, so this is going to take a little while. So, it's one in Angel Arm 1, four in Angel Arm 2 is five, three in Hydrosity 1, eight, four in Hydrosity 2, twelve, three in um, Marble Garden 1, fifteen, two in Marble Garden 2, seventeen. So I think that was the one I didn't have there for, so there's that one. And the one, yeah, the one after the loot. So I did get them both. Okay, so I'm just gonna add after after Tails is done killing because at the moment both my hands are in play. I have upheld on one controller and I'm pressing B on the other one. Alright, so I gained, uh, you would have also noticed if you were checking my score, uh, it went from 722 320 to 722 420. I'm just gonna add that life now because I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, it's good. Um, tails, please. This is why I didn't want any checkpoints. Because it puts me right back to the start of the stage, where the other large ring is. Now I'm gonna I'm hoping it will be apparent why I need a large ring in a second. Okay. Definitely count of four to lose those. Okay, so this is a speedrun strategy. You lift Sonic in there, and um, the spikes don't do damage to you, instead they push you into the wall, and so now I'm going to where Knuckles' boss is. Um, everything from here is super important, I can't screw anything up. Okay. So now I'm switching over to the second controller, because as soon as Tails lands I'm going to jump and fly, and Sonic needs to land in Tails' hands. Alright, so that's fine. And now what I need to do is I need to fly up here, and now Sonic is going to jump out. And the reason I needed the 50 rings is to be Super Sonic here. Because doing this fight without being able to see where the, where the enemies are is really, really hard. Okay, now... Uh, yeah, Tails just disappeared. Sorry. Okay, so now this, this is a race against the what is happening here is um, the water level set to Sonic's area. So, 
Right now I'm, I'm drowning. I have 30 seconds to finish this. Um, there is a... There's a large ring in here, basically. Oh, okay. I should make it down. Because it's just here. Uh, now I can turn supersonic all I want, but... Supersonic can still drown. Unlike hypersonic, who can't. Um, okay. So, I'm gonna go down here first. Again, I'm gonna consciously try not to use supersonic too much unless I have to, uh, just because of the fact that um, hearing the same music all the time is really annoying. Super Sonic without even pressing any directional buttons. All I have to do is just press buttons. Another interesting thing about this is I can actually summon Tails whenever I want here. So now, as soon as I press the buttons, you'll see him appear a second or so later. And then fall and die. So I can be as cruel as I want, and I'm going to try and time it try and time one here, so that he dies as late as possible. I don't actually need Tails for this at all. Uh, no, I think I missed. Ah, oh, Damn it, Tails. It's alright, like I said, I don't need him at all for this fight. Alright, and we're halfway through the game. 
Uh, the next stage, Mushroom Hill 1, is possibly the most interesting of all. So, firstly, it has two rings right at the start, which are not present in Sonic and Knuckles, which are only... Um, they're always the um, hyper rings. I don't know how else to put it. They're the multicolored ones. And they'll always take in a hidden palace regardless of whether um, regardless of whether you have all the chaos emeralds or not. I'm actually gonna do something later to prove to you that, that, that this is hidden palace that you're going to. So you might be thinking, how am I gonna get out? Well that's how. Uh, but that's not even the most interesting thing about the stage. The most interesting thing about this stage is that it is the only stage in the game with one of every different type of box in it. And I'll, um, I'll go through that in a sec. But yeah, okay. So in this, uh, you can pick any of the stages to do. You can actually pick whatever order you do them in, unlike in Sonic 3 where it just goes through them in order. Um, so here I'm going to do them in reverse order. So this is the seventh one. And to be honest, this one's a little bit of revenge from my childhood, because I hated this one when I was younger. I never actually beat it. I got within, I think, one sphere one time. And I can't even begin to tell you how this stuff I was when I... I found out how close I was. Oops. Not quite what I was thinking of. Anyway. So it turned out all you had to do was go through those. And I was making it super hard for myself by, like, trying to stop myself before hitting the bumper. But then I just missed that turn, and that's the only extra thing you have to do for perfect jump for those couple of rings there. Alright, so you might be wondering, how are you going to get to Knuckles Ring? It's surrounded on both sides by, um, blocks that only Knuckles can break. Um, and it's not really, and how are you going to get there in the first place? Well, if you're familiar with speedruns of this game, you know how I'm going to get there. Um, and you might think, well, I'm taking a chance of activating the level wrap and just ending the whole stage. Um, not so. Okay, so this is, that's how you do the, le the level wrap. But what I'm going to do, once I get to here, instead of... Um, obviously, like, if you hold right all the way, it's like a 50-50 shot. If you just, if you go from here, it's 95%, but then if you go from here, it's zero. That will never go through. So, that's, that's how we take care of that, getting down here. And uh, then for this, we're going to do something really tricky, uh, that we don't really have a name for. It's just a double spin dash, I guess. Um, and that's what it looks like. So you do a full spin dash from the other side of the screen, and then two quick spin dashes once you get to the end. And what the first one does, the first spin dash there, well, um, yeah, so the first one pushes the screen forward, and the second one causes it to... Uh, it causes you to do another one, and then the object's not there because of how far you've scrolled the screen. Uh, so there's a lot of there's a lot of glitches that revolve around that sort of thing. Uh, there you notice that I left a couple of a couple of um, blue spheres behind.
we got. Okay, so I'm going to be keeping track of all the different types of boxes now for the rest of the stage because that's that's kind of the gimmick of this stage is that you can get one of every type of box in it. Okay, but first we need to be able to get out of here. Um, so what we're going to do. We're going to duck, and this isn't a screen wrap at all, but basically what just happened there is I moved the object far enough off screen for Tails to be able to fly me through it, um, which is similar to the ones where you're holding up earlier. easier than I thought it was. Okay, um, five's up here. This one's pretty straightforward as well. Again, most of them are. Um, the only thing is I'm going to be playing a little bit safe to make sure that I get the perfect. I, um, yeah, just don't want to lose rings for silly reasons. Because, like, if I hit any one of those, of those two in the middle, well, that's the end of perfect. I obviously don't have any chance to make that back. This is probably the most maze-like of all the stages, and I actually quite like it for that. It's So that 
for example, is somewhere it could have got really hairy. If I missed one of those jumps even slightly. I could have actually done it too early, missed the first of the um, blue spheres, landed on the third one, turned left expecting a, a ring to be there and the square wouldn't have been complete so it wouldn't have been there. So again, we're still going for the all different types of... Um, no, no. It's not there. It's after this one. Okay, this is the other stage that was the bane of my existence as a kid. And it really was because I wasn't clever enough to get the pattern recognition here. Basically, essentially, all this is, is it's one enclosed path. And because I didn't realise that, I'd be jumping off in all sorts of different directions. Not really sure what I needed to do. But really, it's so much simpler than that. Classic case for overthinking. I'm not sure, but I think that's the most um, blue spheres you can have left in any of the stages by the time you get perfect. Oh no! Oh, that happens sometimes. <laughs> yeah, once it gets a bit fast like that, it's very possible to just screw something simple like that up. That's kind of unfortunate. But it's okay, because there's a lot of large rings where I can make up for it. There's 11 in total in Mushroom Hill. Here it is. There's our lightning shield. And that's one of every... That's one of every box in a single stage. Um, that was interesting. Did you see that? I was standing in the middle of that. Alright, let's try this again. Probably don't need to get perfect again, I've kind of made my point. But it's the principle of the matter. The, th the thing about this state as well is because of how linear it is, the nature, yeah, the nature of it is that there's really no way to correct a mistake. Later does the trick. And that's a million points. Um, unlike with the rings earlier, the game doesn't really care if you get over a million points. Um, Ten million is when it throws a fit. Which, if you'd had 30 minutes for me to sit there and build up points around launch base, I could have showed you, but 
Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see that. Um, anyway. Still not done. Because I have one more extra life to collect.
Um, okay, how many have I hit in this stage? Two, I think. Yeah, I've had seven so far in Mushroom Hill. The next couple coming up, because there's, um, there's two in Knuckles' area, actually, and they're among the hardest to get. Well, actually, no, the first one's not hard, it's the second one that requires a little bit of thinking outside the box. Um, actually, I might take this and have a bit of a gamble and see if we can get the jackpot. You don't always come out to that side. I gained 10 rings out of that. What a waste of time. Um, okay. Oh dear. Um, that's really not good. I'm going to have to scroll this off the screen.
So the way to do that would be go into mushroom hill. Um, one thing you'll notice about the restart like this, by the way, is if I go for the um, if I go for the large rings already collected, they won't be there. So. So I'll still be able to tell that I've got everything. Alright. Alright, so here we'll do the 95% method for doing the zip. I do have a chart actually with all of the um, where the post monitors are, but I didn't have space on my on my screen to bring it up. That's literally where we're at right now. So I can't show this off like I wanted to. Something really cool is about to happen. 
Oh yeah, the other unfortunate thing about that is I lost my million point score. Oh well. So yeah, if you if the last one is one of the ones on the edges, um, it has to scroll back to the center and it actually wastes a little bit of time. So reasons for doing them in that order were actually for going fast. So, extra life. Only extra life on this stage. Another 50 rings. Um, now I'm going to lose my shield because I'm going to need to turn home something in a moment. And I have... Well, I'm going to have over 200. So... We might actually be okay here. Here comes the gauntlet. So, first thing, uh, these these ramps are similar to the Hydrocity 2 ones, but much harder to get under. Um, I, I turned the Super Sun because the extra speed is very helpful. And that's, uh, that's Hypersonic Special Attack there. That he can do a dash like that. Uh, oops. Um, the super special power that comes with that you can go through just about any object you want. Um, you've got to be really specific with your um, position to get it though. Uh, this one more than any other, actually. You have to do it, because you can do it in any, um, you can do it in any cardinal and diagonal direction. Uh, so I'm doing these ones down and left, but I have to, I have to do them before those, um, those walls there are scrolled on screen, which is very difficult. And I forgot to mention, but yeah, seizure warning. So I'm not actually sure how you keep it off the screen, but that worked, uh, which is the important thing. Uh, no, wait, what are we doing? I don't need to do that yet. Um, I have a ton of rings too, so I'm going to be fine. Uh, most of the, mostly I have the rings just for that one in particular, because it's a very difficult move. Um, okay, so this time I'm going to scroll the spikes off screen, get stuck in them. That is the last ring for the stage. Um, now what we're going to do... I'm just going to go over here and do it. Wait for Tails to fall down. And there's only a very specific spot in the spikes where this actually works, but you can drop him onto... Ah, uh, no, it didn't work. Um, you can actually drop him into the ground. It's basically where that second, that mushroom on the left is. So I forgot which rings I was meant to use. You actually use the, um, use the rings at the bottom on the left to figure out where to go there. My lightning shield. Now we just go through to the end because there's not a lot else to say. The stage is basically done. Now, similar to the Marble Garden boss, I'm gonna do 
Okay, so I'm not actually in the right spot. So you can see that um, I can actually scroll the screen upwards, which is not meant to happen in this area. And speaking of things that are not meant to happen in this area. <laughs> and that's Mushroom Hill done. Alright, so next is Flying Battery, and Flying Battery actually has uh, the most different ways of getting the slow glitch in the game. Now, the slow glitch is that really silly thing you saw earlier in Carnival where uh, you actually you actually don't have gravity, and, oops, uh, and you can basically do whatever you like. Um, okay, first of all, I'm going to show you the first way. So this is the first way. Um, basically the game's really bad at telling what you're doing. Um, it's really bad at changing state, essentially. So, so the first thing that happened there was I got caught by Tails and then I landed on the um, uh, thing. And it doesn't really know how to handle you being on both of those at once. Instead of doing something sensible, it just gives you the slow glitch. Um, I got an extra life earlier. Let's add that. Uh, 
Uh, the other, um... The other large ring is down there, but I'll get it in a sec. Um... Okay, so why don't you go up here? Uh... Nah, okay, you need to jump. Flying battery are really well hidden. Like so much so when I was a kid I didn't think there were any. Kinda of fine. Um, obviously. Uh, the dash there is that, yeah, um, no matter where you are on the screen, if you do the, uh, if you do, uh, Sonic's dash attack, a hypersonic's dash attack, it'll enter the special stage. Uh, that's also true of Hyper Knuckles if he glides into a wall. Which looks really strange when it happens. It's actually not very easy. 
Flying battery out of the way. And now we come to Sandopolis 1, and this stage is absolutely massive. This is a very difficult stage to get everything in. Uh, this has a grand total of seven. Seven. to fly up here. I think 
it's actually back down this way. Uh, these kind of bosses that follow you are actually kind of annoying because if you send Tails over to the other side, um, well, we'll see what happens. Sometimes the game decides he's more important and decides to follow him instead. Uh, why? Don't ask. Just don't. It's not worth it. Uh, so there's a couple more. There's one in Angel Island 1, there's one in Launch Base 1, but both of those are only on the Knuckles side, and we saw what happened when you tried to get into the, to the Knuckles side. straight through objects again. Alright, so here, you're going to see what happens. So I'm going to try really hard not to hit that checkpoint that's not going to work. And, yeah, that makes the ghosts appear. Um, so they had multiple checkpoints in place for, for the ghosts. 
Yes, they really wanted to make sure you got them. Uh, so this is the third and final different type of final stage in this game. This is the most fun and the most rewarding. Um, as you get towards the top of this stage, everything becomes worth more. So that that rings, I think, I didn't actually get a good look at it, but I think it was worth 50. Uh, the ones at the very top are worth 80. And each, each one has certain things that it can drop, so there's only a couple that can drop lightning shields, for instance. Uh, and that's worth 80 rings. And so is that one. So yeah, all the rings you'll ever need, essentially. I actually lost speed there while falling because of how the bubble shield works. The bubble shield doesn't make you fall faster, it sets your speed to a certain amount. And in most use cases, that does result in you falling faster. But if you're already falling quite quickly, uh, it doesn't. Alright, so here we have the famous set. Section. Um, show you something interesting about the sound falls that you didn't expect. I guess you could do it with a lightning shield, actually. But, like everything, it's much easier if you have or something. Um, if I take off the extra life, not with instant yet. I 
actually let the boss music start. Um, yeah, I think I forgot to check off a couple here. Hang on. There's... How many are left? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I should have thirty-nine. Um, I don't think I've missed any. I think I've just forgotten to tip them off as I got them. Oh, I actually didn't want that to happen. Uh, but that's a thing that can happen sometimes. I can deliberately skip the checkpoint and just die. Um, yeah, okay, so, yeah, that's a thing that can happen there. And in a speedrun, it saves about nine seconds. Uh, but there, I really didn't want it to happen. Possibly could have actually got back up there, but there's one check. Um, here I'm gonna get a bunch of rings, because again I wanna be hypersonic pretty soon. Um, First life, that was why I didn't. Oh, nice, first go. Okay, so. Yeah, there's a. There's an object there. I made that look a lot easier than it is, but if I go back here, I'll show you. There's a door. And that switch opens the door. Um, so, yeah, this is Knuckles' area. Obviously, you're not meant to be here, but extra life, so we're gonna do it. Um, there's not really any point going any further there. So we'll just go back instead. Um, extra life. Because yeah, Knuckles doesn't have any large rings in his area. So I won't worry about that. Um, another extra life. It's actually another one just down there. So that was the same as that enemy in Adrocity 1. Yep, six to go. That's right. Whoa! <laughs> nice lag! One more launch in this stage, and even as hypersonic I can. something really interesting about this boss is there's two different forms to 
this boss if you like. Um, killing that one is actually irrelevant. It doesn't matter whether you kill that or not. Um, well, it will actually it will make it faster because it'll make the hand come back up faster. But you only have to defeat the hand in the fight. There's our fire shield. by that because really there's nothing else you can do there. Um, you basically stop. Uh, anyway, yeah, I didn't forget about these. large rings for the rest of the game. Um, I don't actually know why they did it this way, but oh, I guess I guess it's to do with Hidden Palace. But yeah, once you get to Hidden Palace, there are no more. Oh! Um, oh shit! Um, I wonder what will happen here. I'll probably die if this works. So all I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and do the stair glitch and get stuck in this particular stair here. Yeah, because the, the lower boundary will probably be a bit set 
Because there's an extra life down there that I haven't got yet. <laughs> what is going on here? I'm stuck, aren't I? That's awesome. Yep, and I can't even do anything else because, um... I think I actually have control of it. No, I don't. But yeah, that rock, it's still falling. And yeah, I can't even wait out for time over because, um, yeah. Time to stop. So... Nothing I can do there, unfortunately. <laughs> so we're gonna have to go back into Lava Reef and finish it again. Which means they'll just do speedrun shots. Yeah, that's another thing. Um, that is... Uh, uh, hang on, there's, there's one of these here. Yeah, alright. So, oh, okay. So you can see that I'm losing rings here. Okay. And now you can see that I'm losing rings here. So, unlike in pretty much any other use case in the game, um, their damage to the tails actually does hurt something as well. I actually have to time this now. has a trick where he can run under that box and do a zip straight to the end of the stage. It's actually really easy with Tails because he is, um, his hitbox is small enough to do it. You can, you've got enough time where you can run under the box. Um, but Sonic's a little bit taller and he, um, it never actually gets that high. So what you gotta do is you gotta make yourself a bit smaller. And the way to do that is rolling. But of course, as soon as you roll, you then become able to break a box. So, <laughs> you then have to stop yourself at, like, exactly the right moment. It's, it's very difficult. Yep, 
like so difficult to the point that you would never see HDL or myself attempt it in the room. Obviously you do it with Tails because it's easy, but you don't see it in his Knuckles run and you won't see it in my Sully run unless I'm obscenely lucky. Oh, I want rings! Uh, great. Um, I ideally wanted to have at least a hundred rings coming out of this stage. I don't think I'm going to have that now. Oh, actually, I will if I get the right um, bonus stage. Anywhere between 35 and 50 gives that. Um, it does it in lots of 15, so starting from 20 rings you can get a bonus stage from a checkpoint, and that gives you the, uh, the slot machine one. Uh, 35 gives you this, 50 gives you the, the gumball machine from Sonic 3, um, and it continues in sequence like that. Okay, um, that's enough, yeah. That's all I need. All I need was over a hundred. Just to show off the way this works. Um, also, like, one time shield. Because I want to be able to turn into hyper afterwards. So there's the extra life. Um, now. Getting back up there is pretty tricky, but it is possible. And now, so here's the silly thing that happens. So... Extra life. Why does that happen? It happens because this is actually a new act. This, this is, um, if you've seen the level select screen, this is Lava Reef Act 3. Um, and the game, the game doesn't show that, and it shows Lava Reef Act 2 if you were to come back from the checkpoint, for instance. Um, but yeah, basically the game loaded the new act, and that's why uh, it gives you another extra life. Because it doesn't think it's already given you one for 100 rings. Now, I'm going to try something I'd normally try on this stage, if for whatever reason I'm playing the boss. Um, I'm going to try and beat it without hitting a direction button. So all I'm going to be doing is pressing the jump buttons. And it works out that that's all you need because... extend it to the um, to that as well but I stuffed up and got hit that lava can actually hit you um, 
after the stage ends. Alright, so Hidden Palace, you would think there's not a lot to this. Um, and not really there's not. But there is there are a couple of quick kills. Um, you're gonna see one of them, but the other one is better. Just got enough flight power to get up here, and there's an extra life there. This is a veritable bonanza. Every type of shield, um, yeah, every type of shield, invincibility, and speed shoes. And this happens. No effort fight. But you can actually do it in an even faster way, which um, you might have seen in the co op run before, where if you jump into. Yeah, basically, if you um, get Tails stuck in Knuckles' sprite, then. Uh, Tails actually can't control player two at all. So this is all me. Uh, something I forgot to mention about Mushroom Hill 2 is that when Knuckles pushes you up to the top, there's actually one frame where you can jump. And there is here too. Um, sadly, that's actually kind of useless for for Sonic here, uh, but it does cause an amazing result for the Um, Okay, so another thing here is that this object over here that you're about to see, the first thing you see, this rope here, um, is actually on the camera timer. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, that's on the camera timer. And oh really? And um, yeah, apparently camera timer objects actually. I'm gonna get this. <laughs> it's too funny. Thing and the 
last one is... You just saw me jump. You saw me jump from a standing sprite, right? Or well, actually a grabbing sprite, which looks even funny. Um, Alright, so there's two more lives. isn't dead. It'll hit you a bunch and you'll just die. And there's not a lot you can do about it. Uh, yeah, speaking of shenanigans, uh, believe it or not, stage will actually complete. Um, it's just trying to find out where the death egg is. There we go, it's found it now. That's what it looks like, right? But there you go, there's the jumps. They made it in alright. Um, this stage actually has nothing of interest to me on my sheet. It does, however, have a couple of interesting things about it. Uh, firstly, this in single boss as well, but if you go over here, there's a couple of rings on the ground. Um, another thing is that. Yeah, the, um, the spin dash mode can actually be stored. Uh, but perhaps the most interesting thing in this stage is that it contains the only boxes in the game that no character can collect. Over there, um, and I won't go too much closer because I'm a bit scared, uh, there are, there's a room with two tenry boxes and a lightning shield box. Um, the only way in there is blocked off by that set of spikes. We're, we've got no idea why, um, why they're there, but it just are. Uh,
relatively simple way to do the fight. Um, and a very simple way to do the second phase of the fight. Um, okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I've made I've made Tails disappear, and eventually, yeah, he's gonna respawn over here. Uh, this is why I needed a lot of rings. I needed a big ring bonus. You can't. You can actually do some really silly stuff there. Uh, you ever wonder what's down here? No, that's it. Just a pit and one enemy. This this is a really interesting stage because it's you know, it's the last stage of the game. But it's really barren. It's very. It's got a lot of empty space. Um, it also has spikes that don't work. Under reverse gravity, sideways facing spikes actually do nothing. Um, on the other hand, things that do do something include those um, those shocks of lightning. They actually do more than stuff that's actually meant to do damage. Um, okay, so anyway, uh, so, there's, so there's two main parts on this stage. Seen at the start, I had to choose whether to go left or right, and I chose the left. Um, now, the right path is faster, but for the purposes of this particular playthrough, oh, nice hit! <laughs> um, is that gonna make things difficult? It actually is. Um, I'll turn it home so I can be fine. Um, okay, so this is not gonna be fine. I think I'm okay. Okay, nice. Uh, I really didn't want to hit that checkpoint, and um, the reason is because those two paths don't cross over until very late in the stage. Uh, Alright, so now that I've hit, now that I've gone hypersonic, I'm going to have to kill myself off. Now, thankfully, there's a very convenient way of doing that. Uh, it doesn't involve any of this. So thankful because it was something I wanted to show anyway. So it's actually really funny. Let's see this one. Yeah, it is that one. Okay. Yeah, so. Oh, that wasn't that funny at all. Um, what's meant to happen there is you'll actually land on the bottom of the, of the stage. Yeah. Actually, yeah, there's something there that keeps you from dying for some reason. But it can't save you for very long. Anyway, uh, that is the second last life. I guess the last thing we're going to do here is there's a little bit of an issue, and when I say a little bit, it's a little bit really, of an issue with um, super and hyper characters. 
guys in this fight. Uh, so, what, what the speedrun strategy is, is to, is to just dash into them like this. And as you can see, sometimes when you're doing it with Super Saiyan, you can actually flip over. Um, the way to get around it is to do this. But anyway, let's have a bit of fun and do it more the way you would remember. See, I'm sure everyone remembers having to do this. And trying to line them up just right. And I managed to miss with three. That was good. This is what I remember, and this was an absolute pain. And unfortunately, they don't both count.
finished. Uh, so I'm going to show the whole ending because it only makes sense. <laughs> um, what I am going to say though is if you somehow didn't get enough out of this stream, there's a whole heap of other um, resources available on the on the internet about this game. So, um, firstly, I have to offer massive shoutouts to Orkle, who is responsible for the vast majority of the glitches I use there. Um, another another couple of um, Russian players by the name of Razor Zenon um, actually have the proof of concept of, on YouTube of doing all 77 large rings with Sonic and Tails, which is where I got the idea for doing that in particular. Um, the Yogwog as well did a fantastic tool assisted run um, earlier this year, I think, of Knuckles getting every ring available to him in the game. And it's not just every ring he's meant to be able to get, it's a lot he shouldn't as well. Um, those are all fantastic watches and I should have provided links for you already as to those. Um, other than that, I do have a couple more things I'm going to show off. Um, they will actually require a reset of the game and I'll explain One interesting thing about the ending that I didn't actually know is that um, if you don't get the a good or best ending, you know, one where Super or Hypersonic appears at the end, uh, you don't get the dolphins flying behind you, and I think you don't get the birds either. I'd have to actually go back and watch one of the speedruns and check because I don't actually know. Um, Alright, so that's bringing us close to a close here. Like I said, I do have just a couple of things to show off in the remaining time. And this is the cool screen you get for 100% completion. That's Okay, uh, yeah, like I said, I, I now have to turn the game off and turn it back on. Um, the reason for this is there is a certain... There's a certain thing I'm going to do. Okay, so... Um, we'll start off here and we're going to unlock the level select code. Uh, level select is when you grab on one of these in Angel Island. Three times left, three times right, three times up. And you should have heard the ring sound. Um, that means the level select is now active, and as well as all the um, start codes in game that come with it, so I can now hit start plus A to go back to the main menu. I'm not going to do that though, because there is a reason I'm playing through this stage one. will 
will actually die if you glide under that set of spikes and then break the glide. That will cause him to stand up and there's not enough room for him to do that, so he just died. Alright, that was a very poor shot of that stage, but it wasn't intended to actually show off the stage. about where this is gonna land. Okay. Alright, so that's one of them. Now, the reason that Sonic can't get that one, you actually saw. Sonic can't get that one because the game won't let him in there until after you've beaten Act 1's boss, at which point it doesn't matter. Um, okay, now. Second one is in the launch base one. Um, playing through the whole stage, I'm just going to do the zip here. Alright, so this should work. Um, I'm going to grab some rings before this fight though, because with Knuckles this fight's a lot more difficult. Uh, you might have noticed that... Oh my god, I'm not ducking! Ugh, son of a bitch. Okay, so what happened there is, um, you're not actually in the boss room when you do this zip, you're way, way further along, and, um, what has to happen for you to, for you to get stopped is that you have to encounter the boss, and, um, great, um, the other way then. Come on, come on, thanks. Yeah, you, the screen has to be in a certain position where the boss room is. Now, in this case, the difference between standing straight and ducking there is actually enough to, um, to trigger the boss room. Alright, uh, yeah, so with this boss, um, you can see they keep their distance like that. And that actually makes this really hard. Really, really want that ring. You can tell I haven't done this in a while. Anyway, this is why you can't get it with Sonic. Because um, when you beat that boss with Sonic, that doesn't break like that. Um, 
zero, zero is the first one, zero, one is the second, and so on. So this is actually the eighth. Uh, now if I hold A, which is the usual trick for debug, and then press start, I'm going to go to a special stage many of you will have never seen before. And this stage is basically a giant spiral. Now, there would be a quicker way of doing it than playing it as a spiral, but I'm going to do it just to show off just how ridiculous it actually is. So, this is literally all you do. You, you turn left, you come up to one of these things, grab the first, jump over the bumper, land on the second. That's all you do, and yet it gets so hard near the end. Because it takes so long to do that it gets really quick by the time it gets to the end. Um, I don't think there's any rings in this, but if that is wrong, I want someone to correct me, because... I have a feeling there might be a ring hidden in some really devious place. But yeah, it's it's very repetitive, so you can see why they wouldn't go with it for an actual design to the game. So that actually gets quite tricky near the end, but only for timing purposes. And, and now this throws you to the start of page level 1, because why not? Um, okay, now if you select special stage 2 and do the same thing, uh, there's another one for Sonic and Knuckles, and it counts as a super emblem, the game will tell you so. Um, now this one is way too easy. This is... This is undoubtedly the easiest of all 16. Which is saying a lot because most of the others are quite easy as well. So it's literally four of these which count for 44. And there was only four more besides that is just a group in the middle, on the other side of the map, where I started actually. So, here. Not really anything difficult about that. Okay, so that's that, but then, now, now the real question is, why is it that I, um, why is it that I turn the game off? Well, it's to do with the way that, um, the, it's to do with the way that the code works in Sonic and Knuckles in particular, as regards, as regards what the game does after you um, after you go into a special stage ring. Uh, so all I have to do is load this file. Uh, that particular file had two emeralds, you can see, and it also had been to Hidden Palace. Now that's important. Because, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Hidden Palace now. Um, we're going to activate Debug. So you can see it there. Um, see how Knuckles bits positioned on top of Sonic's bit there. Uh, now I'm going to go across the top, over all of that. Uh, now this is where the um, this is where the fight would be with Robotnik. Um, as you can see there, that is actually. Um, 
Uh, that's actually the wrong one. That put me in the green stage, you, you noticed. And yeah, uh, things are messed up right now. Uh, I'm going to pause really quick as soon as this loads. I'm going to do my best to explain it. Okay, so what happened there is the... Um, those those um, emeralds there, as I mentioned, actually are where you get taken when you go into a super ring um, in Sonic and Knuckles. Um, that is actually where you go. And that's the proof, is that when you stand on that, it'll actually go to the, um, go to the special stage. And that's the reason that when you go through that section in Hidden Palace, you have no control. Because if you did, you could stand on one of them and completely break the sequence. Um, the other thing that happened here, and this is why I turned the game, turned the game off, um, is it put me. You can see what's happened here is I'm actually in Angel Island One, but I'm up in the top left corner, and um, the sprite is completely broken, and there's water all the way up to the top. Uh, this is actually. What's meant to happen here is when you come out of a special stage, the game throws you in, um, puts you where the last special stage you entered was. Now, I had to turn off the game because while playing before, I'd been into a number of special stage rings, and I don't want to have gone into any. Otherwise, you won't get put here. You'll get sent to wherever it was in Mushroom Hill I did the last one. Now, um... One more thing, I'm going to severely break, well, a just random old crash. Okay, now when I go back to the sound test, hopefully, oh, it hasn't done it. Sometimes what happens when you, um, when you mess it up like that, is you'll see the number 81 there instead of 01. If that happens, then um, that actually lets you play as Blue Knuckles. I really wanted to show that off, but I haven't been able to pull it off recently. I don't actually uh, know what makes it work. Because I thought I did, and that was it, and it didn't work. So, that is, that is the entirety of the stream. So, thank you all for watching, and await further instructions.